All right, so this is a test. <coughs> Keeping the uh, fire extinguisher <laughs> armed and handy right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, inflate the suit, bring it up to 3 PSI, and do a test of the pressure equalizing solenoid. And I'll explain that in just a second. The uh, system is uh, powered up, and uh, I've got compressed uh, gas in this tank. And I'm just going to uh, uh, go ahead and bring it up to 1 PSI. Okay, 1 PSI. And things look good. I'm going to put on my safety goggles. I've learned not to do anything with compressed air without my goggles on. Okay, we're at 1 PSI. Everything looks good. Nothing sharp touching anywhere or binding. It's going to put a hole in the suit. We'll continue on. Helmet hold down cable is good. Good. Face plate, everything looks good. Going one up to 2 PSI now. 2 PSI. And holding pretty steady. And uh, everything still looks good. Going up to 3. Just three in a bit. Turning on the pressure solenoid. And I'm going to adjust it here for a suit pressure of three PSI. And now what it does, I've set three PSI on that. And uh, what it's going to do is continue to add gas, uh, pressurization gas to the suit until the suit pressure inside is equal to the pressure on the upstream side of the uh, uh, solenoid valve. It basically just, uh, if there's a leak in the suit, that valve would open and continue to uh, fill the suit. And as long as I've got pressurization gas, which it uses very little to keep it going, uh, I'm good. So right now it's holding at 3 PSI. The time is 4.54 PM. And uh, I'm going to leave this now for about an hour and uh, just uh, basically let it run for an hour here uh, and uh, uh, just make sure that it doesn't lose pressure and just let the solenoid do its work. The fire extinguisher is here because the solenoid itself gets hot to the touch and I surely don't want a fire. And um, next to a pressure leak in the suit, a fire on board the aircraft is my biggest worry. <laughs> um, uh, and. I'm working on ways to reduce the problems of a fire. Uh, one of them is to replace this electronic pressure solenoid with a completely mechanical one, and I know that if I can't find one, I can build it. It's a simple device. Anyway, it looks good. I'm going to let it run now for an hour. 3 PSI on the nose. 3 PSI on the nose. And that is the pressure I need to uh, survive at 50,000 feet. So basically right now you're looking at a home-built pressure garment capable of uh, supporting life at uh, human life at uh, 50,000 feet altitude if I were breathing pure oxygen inside this system, which I can do. So I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. All right, I'm going to let it roll for uh, an hour.